I'd like to ask you if you have a mobile phone, please switch it off or set it into a silent mode, please. Now we start the second worship service of the Lord's Cross Christian Center, Tokyo Antioch Church, on April 5th, 2015. Let me pray. Dear Heavenly Father, I praise your name. Thank you for gathering each one of us here to this second worship service. Thank you for this blessing of being able to worship you together. I pray that we'll be able to worship you by spirit and truth. Help us to praise you by spirit and truth. I also pray that you will give your blessing to each one of us. I pray this prayer in the name of Jesus. Amen. Now, let's have a time of praise and worship and let's sing praises to God together. Now, let's sing praises to God together. Please stand up. どんなに辛い時にもどんなに苦しい時も今ではこの世もない喜びと知りたいいつも喜んで
Various problems and difficulties have been allowed to you, but in the middle of them, continue to stand firm in the words that words of promises that God has given you, and keep dealing with those things by faith. You haven't realized that, that there are some people who have forgotten the promises of God. As you pray, be reminded of God's promises for you and continue to stand firm in them and continue to stay steadfast, continue to stand steadfast in the faith and God will show His glory, said the Lord. The words of God and His promises that He has given you, continue to believe in them. Uh, those words will come to pass for sure and that time is drawing near. Through your faith, the words of God will be fulfilled in a very surprising way, said the Lord. Let's sing one more praise to God. Let's clap our hands to God with all our hearts. Dear Heavenly Father, thank you for this praise and worship. Thank you for the words of prophecy. I pray that you will continue to lead this service with your blessings. In the name of Jesus, I pray. Amen. Now, let us have a time of individual prayers. Let us quiet ourselves before God and have fellowship with Him in prayers.
そこまでにしていただきまして、Now、再び賛美をして、and sing one more praise to God. それでは主の祈りを Let's pray the Lord's prayer together. 初めての方はモニターの方をご覧ください。主の祈り、the Lord's prayer. 天に増します。我らの父 Father in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come. Thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom, and the power, and the glory, forever and ever. Amen. We now have Pastor Paul Akimoto lead the Holy Communion. Let's have the Holy Communion. The Holy Communion is to proclaim the death of Jesus in our church. You are welcome to join the ceremony, even though you are not a member of this church. But if you believe in the Lord Jesus Christ as your personal Savior and have been baptized, or you are wishing to be baptized, if you are watching this service on the internet, and if you believe in the Lord Jesus and have been baptized, or you are wishing to be baptized, Please prepare bread and wine or grape juice for yourselves and join us. Let me pray. Dear Heavenly Father, please bless this bread and wine and grape juice here, and please bless the bread and wine and grape juice that those who are watching this service on the internet have prepared. In the name of Jesus, I pray. Amen. Let's now have a time of repentance. Individually, and if you have sins in your hearts, please confess them to God. We pray these prayers in the name of Jesus. Amen.
イエスはパンを取り、祝福しのプロサキ、ゲイフンクス、エンブロケイト、エンゲイフィクトゥヒディサイプル、セイング、テイキッド、ディスイスマイバディ、レッツテイクドバディオフクライスト。Jesus said to them, This is my blood of the covenant, which is poured out for many. Let's take the blood of Christ. Dear Heavenly Father, thank you for this blessing of the Holy Communion. In the name of Jesus, I pray. Amen. それでは。Now, let's have a time of offering. Let's offer unto the Lord as we sing Siki first together. Now, let me pray and give thanks to God for these offerings. Dear Heavenly Father, thank you for these offerings. We now have given you a part of what you had given us. I pray that you will sanctify them and use them for the work of your kingdom. I also pray that you will bless each one of those who have offered abundantly. 
With thanksgiving in the name of Jesus, I pray. Amen. Now, let me read today's Let me read from the Bible for today's message. Today's message will be from the book of Romans, chapter 7, verse 6. Book of Romans, chapter 7, verse 6. Let me read. But now, by dying to what once bound us, we have been released from the law so that we serve in the way, in the new way of the Spirit and not in the old way of the written code. Today, Pastor Akimoto will bring us a message after special singing and after congregational praise and worship. Good morning. Let us sing. We are give kibutsu. Let us sing. Let's go forward to the eternity.
A focus, a make a focus properly and go forward to that point. The point is my word, said the Lord. The Lord has overcome the world. He has risen. In your life, believe in the victory that God gives you and stand firm in my word, said the Lord. I will establish your faith through things that have been happening to you. So, Thank God for everything, said the Lord. Many, many works of God will be fulfilled, and I will bless your faith, said the Lord. Now you are in the stage of God's word being fulfilled. You will see a lot of my glory. Give all the glory to me, said the Lord. Grab my, grab the word of God that He has given you, and be patient in obeying Him, said the Lord. Let's sing uh, news. Let's sing one last praise. Akarashi, uta o mote, shuni utae, shuni utae, yorogomi no koe o agete, shuni utae. Dear Heavenly Father, thank you for the words of prophecy. Thank you for this time of praise and worship. We are going to learn from, from your living word. I pray that you will speak to us. In the name of Jesus, I pray. Amen. Good morning, everybody. To those who are watching this service on the internet, good morning. And hello and good evening. In our church, we give a tithe offering all the offerings that we have collected to other churches and to other Christian organizations. Now we'd like to give a tithe offering of 65,300 yen uh, from March 24th to March 30th. Heaven, dear Heavenly Father, thank you for meeting all our needs. You always meet all our needs, and we know that you will continue to meet our needs. We now give a tithe offering of 65,300 yen to other churches and other Christian organizations. I pray that you will use them for your work. In the name of Jesus, I pray. 
みんなで歌ってたりなんかしてね。そうですね。私はそれを見たことがあります。私はそれを見たことがあります。私はそれを見たことがあります。私はそれを見たことがあります。私はそれを見たことがあります。私はそれを見たことがあります。私はそれを見
Around the day the pastor arrived went to heaven, we did spiritual warfare in Hateruma Island. I think that this was important because um, spiritual warfare in Hateruma Island was the last spiritual warfare that God had commanded us to do. In Japan. So now we are in April and we are expecting for God to do a new things, to do new things. And we are going to we are going to see a full scale fulfillment of God's word words for us. We are going to enter into the full scale work of God. But there is a characteristic that often happens that just before this kind of special time, uh, God allows us difficulty. So I think some of you are in difficulties. Don't uh, complain to God. Don't say that, why are you allowing this difficulty to me only? You need, but you need to, you need to know that you, God is causing you to be prepared in your difficulties. <laughs> well, and, I'm, and God loves me, so God allowed me a problem. Well, if you don't have a problem, poor you, because maybe God doesn't love you. Well, the Lord told me that a trial came. And I expected that because I knew that we were going to into the full scale work of God. So I thought that God would cause me to be prepared through difficulties. One thing was that I started to bleed and the bleeding did not stop. I thought that was preparation from God. I didn't think that I would die, but I looked, at, I looked at some websites through on the internet, and through the internet I knew that there was a possibility of cancer, but I couldn't go to hospital for three weeks because I was so busy. But finally I went to the hospital and they uh, they uh, examined my blood pressure, and the high blood pressure was uh, more than 200, and the lowest was 120. The doctor told me that the highest one is not a very problem. He said that the problem was the lowest blood pressure. My lowest pressure was about 120. So it was, uh, it was a problem. But uh, since then, I, I was pres prescribed medicine for my blood pressure. I never thought that I would die, but I thought that there was a possibility of dying. But uh, whenever I start a full scale, started whenever I started a full scale work of God, I was, I almost died. And at one time, when I, I almost died, God spoke to me that I had never done anything worthy on this earth. And so I prayed to God and I felt, uh, now I thought that I, I did a little work of God, but everything, I, everything was still left unfinished. So I said to God, God, it's okay if you take me up to heaven, but because I have, because, but I, I, I'm now leaving everything unfinished, so please let me finish all of this. 
And I knew that I had I hadn't I hadn't put I had I had not used all my forces for God's work. People often told me that I was so busy, but I didn't put all my strength to my ministry. So I said to God, God, so God told me to to put all my strength to ministry. And and I found out that because a new work will start. I have to leave some some of the work that I've been doing now to other people. I have to leave some of the work to other people. And so because my pressure, blood pressure is high, well, about bleeding, as soon as I was examined in the hospital, the bleeding stopped. And the doctor told me that there was no bleeding. So I found that uh, God allowed bleeding so that I would have to go to a hospital. And I stopped eating popcorns and Korean uh, seaweeds. And I also started to have more time to sleep. Well, I minister in various parts of Japan, and everywhere I go, they serve me popcorns in the break time. They know that I like popcorns, but I stopped eating popcorns, but I found myself eating popcorns, and that, uh, cut, uh, that cut three, three minutes on my life. So if you invite me, please serve me popcorns. And doctor also tell me, tells me not to eat grapefruits and sweet teas, but I like them very much, but I, but that grapefruits and sweet teas are not good for my medicine, so I can't eat them. So please don't serve me those. And well, I, I minister in various parts of Japan every week, and sometimes I leave home very early. Well. Uh, it's okay for me to leave home at around 10 to 6 in the morning because I start my early morning devotion at 5.30. But uh, sometimes I come, I come home on Saturday night by airplane uh, it's okay for me to fly at around 6 o'clock in the evening on Saturday, but if I board a, an airplane after 6 o'clock on Saturday night, I will arrive in Tokyo at uh, 7 o'clock or 8 o'clock, and then I will get, I will get home at around 10 or 11 or sometimes midnight. And that will influence my ministry on Sundays. So don't make such a schedule. It's okay that my flight will leave before 6 o'clock in the evening on Saturday. And all my prayer meetings, I have stopped. And I pray to God and I ask God uh, and to see if all my prayer meetings does uh, that does me any harm, and if I receive okay from God, I start it. God's word will start. Uh, we will start seeing fulfillment of God's word. I'm not saying that I am not cutting my work. I've been told by God that God will prepare a new work for me. I will leave some of the work to other people. 
uh, in our church, we haven't finished uh, God's work yet. Of course, we see s some of the things that God has spoken to us fulfilled, but they are still, many of them are still on the way. Now let's go into the Bible. Uh, Book of Romans, chapter se uh, 7, verse 6. But now by dying to what once bound us, we have been released from the law so that we serve in the new way of the Spirit and not in the old way of the written code. It's here it says about the written code that is that means the Old Testament and the center of it is the Ten Com Commandments Mo Moses Moses Ten Commandments in the Old Testament they say that by obeying the law God blesses them today is Easter and through the cross of Jesus and his resurrection, the time changed, and now we receive blessing of God by believing. There are two points for faith. What are those points? One is believing. And that one of the points of belief, faith, is believing. And the other point is obeying the Spirit. Now, after Jesus' resurrection, after the cross of Jesus and his resurrection, we are in the time of faith. We don't live in the time of law. When we believe in the Lord Jesus, we get saved and we join, the, we, we join church. But including me, many Christians, they s spend a time of the law. For example, we think, oh, we are born again, and we determine to live a good life. And of course, by God's grace, some, some of the things about us have been changed. But sooner or later, we'll know how, s how awful sinner we are. We will know that we will know that we'll never be able to observe all the law, and then some of, some of the people they are disappointed, they are dis in despair, or we I'm not worthy to stand before God, and some people s even think that they are not worthy to be, and they are so unworthy that they cannot come to the church. Uh, some Japanese novelists who lived in Taisho era, they learned about Christianity, but they didn't become Christians because they thought that they would never be able to observe all the law. But that's, but, but we, n we know that we are sinners through the law. We found out that how awful sinner we are. If you think that you are an awful sinner, uh, uh, you get the point. Uh, you might think, you might think, oh, I'm so, I'm so awful sinner. I can't stand before God. And if somebody tells you, oh, you get the point, congratulations, that might be, that would be good. Through the Lord, we know that we are sinners and we are to be judged by God. Well, when I ministered in Mabashi Church, some people came to me, oh, I'm not, and told me I'm not worthy to come to the church, and I'm not like someone. And then that someone came to me and said the same thing. Oh, I'm so unworthy. I can't stand before God. 
Well, if you think uh, you are worthy and you can observe the Lord, you are very mistaken. We can't help ourselves. We can't. We are sinners who can't observe the law. How much sinner we are, uh, we are to we are to be condemned to death, to hell, for eternal condemnation. But Jesus uh, was crucified and he was resurrected after three days, and he gave us he he forgave us all our sins. If we believed, if we believe in the cross of Jesus and His resurrection, if we we repent, all all of our sins are forgiven by God completely. I used to be legalistic. I was tossed tossed to and from by the law. For example, for a week. Uh, if I was able to do well, and then the next Sunday, I was able to sit in the front of the church. But uh, if I didn't think that I did well during a week, I couldn't sit in the front of the church. I just sat in the back. I'm not telling you, those who are seated in the back, you are like me. Well, and in the church, I thought that I couldn't do well, and may maybe other people, other church members, they do did well. But when I read the old biography, when I read the biography of George Miller, I learned that God answered prayers. And I also started to pray, and God started to answer my prayers. And I was confused because I knew that I was such an awful sinner, but God still answered my prayers. But I found out that through the cross of Jesus, uh, because the cross of Jesus, God forgave us all our sins so he can give us the best blessing for us. Through the law, we know that we are sinners, and the law is used to lead us to faith from the law. So we have to deal with the law in this way. Uh, this verse says, Rom Romans chapter 7, verse 4, so, my brothers, you also died to the law through the body of Christ that you might belong to another, to him who was raised from the dead. Well, when Jesus was crucified and was raised from the dead, the law was finished. And there is another side of the law. The Lord teaches us that we are sinners. There is a purpose of the law. The purpose of the law is love God and love other people. The purpose of the law is so that blessing of God will be made manifest. But the law is imperfect. So, if you observe the law, when you observe the law, sometimes you don't see the blessing of God. Then how can we receive God's blessing? We receive God's blessing by believing and obeying the Holy Spirit. For example, maybe this is uh, this is an example that you might understand easily. The law says, don't lie. Lying is wrong. Among the Ten Commandments, that, that says, don't lie. When we don't say a lie, uh, 
God's blessing will be made manifest, but sometimes not. The Ten Commandments are written in Exodus, but in the beginning of the book of Exodus, the following story is written. Uh, just before Moses was born, there was a commandment of the Pharaoh, the Egyptian king, that all the babies of he Hebrew babies should be killed. But the two Hebrew midwives, they helped Moses' his mother to give a birth, and Moses was born, and the, those two midwives said a lie. Uh, they couldn't uh, arrive when the boy was born, so they couldn't kill him. So that was a lie. Example, uh, if, if, if you lived in, uh, suppose you lived in Holland during the Second World War, and if you hide on the Frank in your home, and Geshe Tabo came, and uh, uh, we are looking for Anne Frank. Uh, uh, is she is she here? So if you observe the law, you have to say yes, she is here. But it doesn't. But that's not what God blesses you. It's Why does it happen? Because the law is imperfect. Then what should we do? We have to obey the Holy Spirit. I'm not saying that uh, you can lie. We listen to the Lord's voice and obey it. We, our church listen to God's voice and obey it. We hear the voice of the Holy Spirit, and by the Holy Spirit, we listen to God's voice and obey it. We obey the Holy Spirit. For example, there is a law that says we you need to keep the Sabbath. And when, when people didn't observe the Sabbath, they were killed in the Old Testament. But you, do you do you know what purpose the Sabbath has? The purpose of the Sabbath is to worship God and magnify God. But the Pharisees, they just observed the Sabbath outwardly, and they couldn't get the point. And 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 who and who bless who who did God bless? God blessed a sinner who couldn't observe the law. So we need to uh, obey the Holy Spirit. Some churches, they say that they never let women preach. Uh, the Bible says that uh, women should not preach. So it's, but in our churches, the Lord's Christian Center, we have raised many, many women. We didn't, we didn't forcefully raise women. We just did that because we had many um, smart, smart and superior women. But the Bible said that. Uh, uh, women should not be raised as a preacher. Well, the reason why the Bible said that uh, they should not let women uh, stand as a preacher is because uh, you usually um, men, they will they were able to judge better than women. But if we observed that law, Catherine Krumah would never be used by God so much. 
So we have to uh, listen to the Holy Spirit and obey the Holy Spirit. This, t this is significant for your walk. One another thing that I write here in this book is about people who've been divorced. The Bible said that a supervisor of the church should be a husband to one wife. We used to belong to the apostolic team of Robert Ewing. And in their apostolic ministry, they don't let women preach and they don't make those who have been divorced pastors. The reason why for them is because uh, if one was divorced, he failed in controlling his family, so he is not worthy to be raised up as a supervisor. But, but people, uh, if, if you are uh, married to a very bad person, well, um, people say that marriage problems occur uh, from both husband and wives, but I don't think so. Well, if you, you, you might have been you might have been divorced, but you might you might have repented properly. So we have to listen to the Holy Spirit and obey the Holy Spirit. From the first, the fir the very beginning of our church, God led us this teaching. In in the beginning of the church, prophecy came forth saying that uh, a person called Che would come and help help your church. And Che is a name of a Korean person. And in Japanese pronunciation, it says Sai. So we expected that God would bring a Korean person called Sai. And I was reminded of a, a very famous Hallelujah auntie who is a mother, uh, mother-in-law of Pastor Cho Yonggi. So, but we could never expect such a famous person to come to our church. And we thought that God would bring another Sai, but this uh, Pastor Sai, who is a uh, uh, mother-in-law of Pastor Cho Yonggi, actually visited our church, and she she liked um, she, she liked loud things, and she brought uh, a red uh, a red belts that says Hallelujah, and she wanted to uh, put this belt around us, red belt that says hallelujah, and she forced us to uh, speak in tongues. So because we were shy, we didn't like that, and we were very embarrassed, but through all night, but God instructed us about all night prayer meetings and early morning prayer meetings through Pastor Sai. God uh, sent this woman preacher, Pastor Sai, to our church in the beginning stage of our church. And God uh, established all those prayer uh, base in the church through her. So God used a woman in, the, in this way. 
when I when we think the law and the spirit, we have to. Uh, we know that it's biblical that if God leads, there if if God leads, a woman should also be used by Him and should preach to and. Pastor Rai, Pastor, um, Pastor Rai uh, gave a message in our church. He, uh, he, that was his last message on th on this earth. And um, there is another pastor who influenced our church very much. He is Pastor Inoue. But he. Pastor in you know we was divorced. Um, Pastor Robert Wing was a wonderful professor of the Lord, but as for uh, this judgment about the divorced man should not be raised as supervisor of the church, I don't think he's right. If we try to, sometimes when we try to observe the law, we become unbiblical. So bef I think that God uh, led our church uh, beforehand so that we are able to understand this. The law will never be abolished. We know that we are sinners through the law, but all the commandments of the law, they are imperfect, and when we try to observe the law, sometimes we can be against God. The law is finished. Now we are in the time of faith. Faith is believing God, and obeying the Holy Spirit. I am saying that the law is abolished, uh, we can lie. I'm not saying that. The law is very important. But there are times when we have to obey the leading of the Holy Spirit. Let me pray. Dear Heavenly Father, I pray that uh, you work and touch us. Some people, uh, you are talking about some things and you feel in vain because you are saying your own opinions. You have to say things according to the Bible. When uh, you have lost words of God on the way. You have to pick them up. You have to pick up those promises of God, and you have to examine to see if they are from God, and if you can confirm, grab them. You, had a, you have a problem, and you are disappointed, but give thanks to God thoroughly through your giving thanks, you will see a development. Let's pray for healing. Let's have a time of repentance. And let's pray for healing individually. Heavenly Father, thank you that you are here. And I pray that you will heal each one of us body, mind, and spirit. In the name of Jesus, I bind the spirit of disease. I, pr I command be healed, be healed, be healed. You feel dizzy in your head and you are healed. You have bad ears and you are healed. You have rashes, you are healed. In the name of Jesus, I command the healing of Jesus to each one of us. Let's stand up and sing hallelujah.
May the grace of the Lord Jesus and the love of the Father and the fellowship of the Holy Spirit be with us all forever and ever. Amen. Please be seated. Announcements. Kokoro Gospel Concert will be held on Friday. Today's seventh service will be Tokyo Charismatic Meeting. Um, the Children's Care Center in Fukushima, uh, uh, the, con the contracts will be made tomorrow. We will construct the Children's Care Center. And there will be meetings in Hokuriku and Fuji Toyohashi. We will have a meeting for healing this coming Saturday. Announcements uh, for gospel concert this coming Friday uh, from 7 o'clock in the evening. You can purchase tickets at the reception. Please invite your friends and family and come to the concert. We have uh, many uh, tracts for the concert. You can take as many as you want and please use them to invite your friends and family to the concert. Sister Tsujiko got married and she will be transferred to Chiba Church from next week. <laughs> and from Nagasaki, Mr. and Mrs. Chida uh, had joined our church. And she, they're going to be here, and Brother Taniguchi uh, is here. She, he'll be a member of this church. <laughs> 